Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the concept of bordered Hessian. When we have constraint optimization of a multivariable function, that is the problem for which a function is to be minimized or maximized subjected to a given constraint. The bordered Hessian is used to check the second order condition for optimization that is whether the function is to be maximized or minimized. The bordered Hessian is a determinant composed of all the second order partial derivatives with second order direct partial derivatives on principal diagonal and second order cross partial derivatives on of the principal diagonal bordered by the first derivative of the constraint. Given objective function f of x y subjected to a constraint that is g of x y which is equal to k where k is the constant. So here g of x y is equal to k is the constraint. Now a new function that is f can be formed by setting the constraints equal to 0 and multiplying it by lambda that is Langrange multiplier and then adding the product to the original function. Thus the new function that is f which is the function of x, y and lambda which is equal to function of x, y plus lambda into the constant k minus g of x, y. Here f is the Langrangian function, f of x, y is the original objective function and g of x y is the constraints. Since the constraint is always set equal to 0, that then the product that is lambda into k minus g of x y is also equal to 0. And the addition of the term does not change the value of objective function. In order to find the critical values that is the value of x y and lambda at which the function is optimized are found by taking the partial derivative of the function that is Langrangian function with respect to all three independent variables. That is we are going to take the partial derivative with respect to x, with respect to y and with respect to lambda and then solving simultaneously. Now the bordered Hessian can be used to find the second order condition for optimization of a multivariable function that is to check whether the function is maximized or minimized. Now the bordered Hessian is the determinant composed of all the second order partial derivatives with second order direct partial derivatives on the principal diagonal that is f of xx and f of yy that is on the principal diagonal and second order cross partial derivatives are taken along the off principal diagonal that is f of xy and f of yx which is bordered by first derivative of the constraints with zero on the principal diagonal. So the bordered Hessian which is equal to f of xx, f of xy, g of x, f of yx, f of yy, g of y, g of x, g of y and 0. So this is the bordered Hessian. Now looking at the determinant value of the bordered Hessian, we can check whether the function is maximized or minimized. If the determinant value of the bordered Hessian is less than 0, then the function is minimum and if the determinant value of the bordered Hessian is greater than 0, then the given function is maximum. Here we have a function which we want to optimize. The function z is equal to 4x square minus 2xy plus 6y square subjected to the given constraint that is x plus y is equal to 72. Now the first step is set the constraints equal to 0 by subtracting the variables from the constant. So here it will become 72 minus x minus y is equal to 0. Now multiply the difference by lambda. So it will become lambda into 72 minus x minus y and add the product of 
to the objective function. So the new function is formed that is z is equal to 4x square minus 2xy plus 6y square plus lambda into 72 minus x minus y. Now we are going to take the first order partial derivative and set them equal to 0. So the first order partial derivative with respect to x it will become 8x minus 2y minus lambda is equal to 0 which is the first equation. Then we are going to take the first order partial derivative with respect to y it will become minus 2x plus 12y minus lambda is equal to 0 which is the second equation and same time we are going to differentiate the function with respect to lambda so it will become 72 minus x minus y minus y is equal to 0 which is the third equation and now we are going to solve this equation simultaneously in order to get the critical values that is the values of x y and lambda now the bordered Hessian can be used to explain the second order condition of optimized function and to determine if z is maximum or minimum. So here the bordered Hessian is the determinant which is composed of all the second order partial derivatives where the with the second order direct partial derivatives on the principal diagonal that is f of xx and f of yy. So here f of xx is equal to 8 and f of yy which is equal to 12 and the second order cross partial derivatives on the off principal diagonal that is f of xy which is equal to minus 2 and f of yx which is also minus 2 which is bordered by the first derivative of the constraints that is g of x which is equal to minus 1 g of y which is also equal to minus 1 with 0 on the principal diagonal. So the new bordered Hessian will become 8 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 12 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 0. Now we want to find the determinant value of the bordered Hessian. So if you solve this bordered Hessian then it will equal to minus 24 which is equal to less than 0. So hence the value determinant value of the bordered Hessian is less than 0. The function is minimized. I hope you are clear about the concept of bordered Hessian matrix and when it is to be used that is to check the second order condition for optimization of a function subjected to a given constraint. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.